Hi right, guys, welcome to the chaos that is my office. Um, I've had this thing laying on my desk for too long now, and I've been needing to do this little video on it, been wanting to do it, and I've just been too busy. But I want to get it done today. So, here it is. This was sent to me um, by a guy. I'll put a link um, to the Facebook page where he's selling these things. Um, I think this is a really neat idea. I liked that it's got a nice clip on it. This looks like a Night Eyes, probably, and I imagine, yeah, Night Eyes it is. So this is a great little clip uh, of this thing. This is even the locking version of the Night Eyes. You slide the little deal up, slide it down to lock it. These things are great. Pretty handy to have. You can find a bunch of uses for that, obviously. It's wrapped in paracord. Very handy to have. And it's got a nice little compass on the outside of it that you can slide on your watch band if you take it off of this thing. So you've got paracord wrap around some survival kit, which is nice because you could clip this to a purse, your bag, your backpack, um, throw it in the console of the truck, um, clip it on your belt loop. If you're just going to go do a little day hike, you can just uh, take this thing with you and you'll have some stuff. Um, the paracord is really nice because cordage, while well, you can make it, it is hard to make. So having some is always a good thing. Uh, I know the lighting in here is crap, guys. Just bear with me. I'm going to try to get this done for you. But but so let's open it up. Let's see what he put in here. Um, he did a nice paracord weave, and uh, we'll see what he's got in here. He burned the ends, melted them down right there, so they actually stayed in place. And he might have done too good a job right there. Nope. Okay. So can't get it apart with your hands. So we're going to open up the weave and see what's in here. This might take a minute. I'm going to actually pause the camera while I unwrap it. You guys let me see him watch me unwrap this thing. But we're going to unwrap it and I'll lay out the stuff. We'll talk about what's in it. Alright, I got it uh, unwrapped finally, which took a few minutes because he had two layers of paracord woven around this thing, which is freaking awesome. Um, I'm estimating it's about 30 feet of paracord. That's a lot of paracord in a small package like this. And he's got his survival kit inside of it in a plastic tube which I think is a really good idea. I've seen some of these other ones online, Amazon and whatnot, sell, some people sell these, um, but they're not packaged like this. This is pretty cool. And looking at it, he's got some neat looking stuff in here. So we're gonna open it up, take a look at what all's in here. All right, well, lid pops off. Yeah, uh, he's really thinking ahead. There's even a loop of paracord running through this thing that you can grab a hold of to pull everything out. Let's grab the loop. We'll pull everything out. Oh, a little rubber worm for me. So, here we go. Here is the stuff. So, we've got the tube. And he's got stuffed in the tube some quick tummy tabs. These are great. Uh, just fluff them out. Fire, steel, match, whatever you got, catch flame. He's got a piece of foil. A bunch of uses for that. Very good. Two safety pins, two little rubber worms for bait. Put a hook on that, jig them around, make it look like a wacky worm. There's a sewing needle here, and there's something inside this foil that it's attached to. Let's see what he's got in here. I'm gonna bet. If I had to bet. I'm going to say razor blade, which I'm tearing this foil up. If I was in a crisis situation, I probably wouldn't do that. And yeah, there is a blade. So you got like an exacto knife blade in here. That's very handy. He's got a length of monofilament fishing line, wound up nice and tight. And a couple split shot and a hook. Packaged up. This is a striker for matches. Let's see what we got in here. Well, I can tell what this is. This is a water bag. Because I suggested that to him. So I knew it was in there. So you have a World Pack stand up water bag. 
So in this little kit, you have a way to carry water. That's a great idea. He's got a very nice fire steel here with magnesium on it. It's a really nice one too. And it comes with the striker as well. So this is a great little combination. Nice and compact. So even if you don't have a knife, you know, he gave you a blade, you've got a way to strike a fire. Two lifeboat matches, which if you know anything about these, um, they burn intensely hot. They burn for quite a long time. They'll burn in the wind too. These are a great addition. And then two aquamere tabs. So you do have a way to fill this thing up with water and treat it, make it safe to drink. You know, alternately, as last ditch, you can use your foil to make a container to boil water. Um, people always try to make a bowl out of foil. Bad idea, it never works. Make an envelope out of the foil. Uh, make an envelope style thing out of it and boil your water like that. It works much better. So we've got the paracord, which is at about 30 feet. So there's shelter material for lashing together stuff to make a, a, a natural shelter. We've got the Night Eyes carabiner here, which is pretty handy. Um, you know, off the top of your head, you'll be like, oh, what can I do with it once I take it apart? You'll find a use. This is pretty handy to have. So, We've got a way to acquire some food with our fishing kit here. Two little rubber uh, worms. you got your sinker hooks and your fishing line. That's great. We've got a way to start fire with our fire steel and our striker. We've got a sew a needle here, uh, which with the monofilament you can use to, to sew close you if you have to, make repairs on stuff. Um, we have the water, obviously, with the bag and the tablets. A couple safety pins. Oh, wait, there's something else hiding here, too. Ah, didn't look deep enough. Ah, he's even got some snare wire stowed in here. There we go. We even have a little round of snare wire. See, that's, that's great. Now you got two ways to get food. Um, the wire, that's, that's an awesome addition. I think you did a really, really good job on this, the way it's packaged. Putting everything in this tube keeps it all together. And like the foil, you know, if you just had this foil wrapped up inside of this, this paracord here, over time, you'd get holes in it, it'd, it'd degrade it. You'd go to open this up and it'd be in pieces. But the way he's packed this in this tube, this is awesome. Um, this is a great way to do it. And two methods to gather food, two methods to start fire. You've got a way to purify and carry water. You get a blade, sew a needle, the foil, um, the, the two tender tabs, which these, you know, if, if you're having to use this kit, these are your last resort. You're going to try natural stuff first. These are used in an emergency, so you fall in and get wet, or weather moves in on you and you're in the world of hurt and you need to make a fire quick. That's when you use these, and that's when you use these, you know, the matches. Your, your first go-to is going to be your fire steel, with natural tenders, um, and as conditions dictate, you're going to start stepping up to matches, and then even your tabs. Don't go to those first. Find something natural to use. And of course, safety pins. A million uses for those. Everything from picking splinters out of yet to uh, making a quick repair on clothes. So overall, oh, and we forgot the compass. So overall, this is a fabulous little kit, and, and I really like the way he did it. Um, we were, I was talking to him as he was doing some of these, and, and uh, he told me, showed me what he had. The only suggestion I made was try to fit one of these in there. Because, you know, tablets are great, but if you don't have anything to put them in and, and anything to put water in, they're, they're kind of useless. Yeah, you can make a cup out of this. You don't have to carry water in that, though. This lets it be portable. If you're on the move and on the go, you can stop, you can fill this bag, drop a couple tablets in. Yeah, you're going to have to carry it. Um, you got enough paracord here, you can probably uh, manufacture a way to carry it. So, and there's even this little piece of paracord, which you left the inner strands in, so there's yet even more cordage. Something else you can use. use. So, all in all, a fabulous little kit. I like it very much, and I'm probably going to do a giveaway. I'm probably going to get one from him, and we'll do a giveaway. I'm going to post this on Facebook, put the video on YouTube, and uh, we'll give one of these away. Because I think it's a really cool idea. I think he did a, a smash-up job on it, and, and I'm really impressed with it. So, hell, I want one to add to my stuff just because this is a nice last-ditch uh, kit. You know, 
you always want to think in layers in survival. You've got your first, second, third tier stuff. First tier stuff, the things that are attached to your body. With this clip, this lets you attach this to your body. Hook it on your belt, loop tap to your boat, to your belt. Um, hook it on your vest or harness if you're out doing tactical kind of things. And it's attached to you. You know, this will be your last tier stuff. And it lets you do most of what your other things will do, albeit in a smaller, uh, not, not necessarily as good a method, but this is your, your last tier. Um, if you've had to ditch everything else, you can make fire, you can build shelter, you can purify water, uh, you can get food. So this is a, this is a really, good, uh, really good idea. I like what he's doing. So check out the YouTube video, of course. If you're watching this, look for it on Facebook. We'll do the giveaway on Facebook. Uh, I have a link to the YouTube video on Facebook, so check it out. Really good idea. Awesome idea. And I like it a lot. So, thanks.